What's up guys, this is Chris, aka The Clever Guru. Today we're gonna look at Google Meets and the updates that it has done to its platform in order to better assist you as an educator. Let's explore. So as you see, we are in our Google Meet session. Now, the biggest three things that we're gonna talk about are the use of breakout rooms, the use of integrating Google Jamboard and the use of how you can display your Google Meets in terms of different types of layouts. So first, let's talk about breakout rooms. Now, Google Meet has now incorporated breakout rooms within the Google Meet platform. So in order to get to that, you come down here to the bottom right corner. There are three dots. When I click on it, you'll see a pop-up menu come up. At the very, is the third one down, it says breakout rooms. Now, when I create a breakout room, I'm gonna, it's gonna ask me how many rooms I want. I can shuffle them or I can clear. So if I hit clear, it puts all my participants in the main room, okay? And from there, I can drag who I want in a specific breakout room. So for instance, we'll do my dummy student right here. I can drag them in the breakout room one and dummy student two, I can drag in breakout room two. From there, all I hit is create. Now the breakout rooms are creating, and if I go to each of the dummy student tabs, so if I come here, it'll ask me if I wanna join breakout room two, I hit join, and now this dummy student is in breakout room two. On the second one, it'll ask me to join breakout room one, I hit join as well, and again, we now see that both students are in their own breakout room. So dummy student one is in breakout room one, dummy student two is in breakout room two. And the main room is where the teacher is, okay? So if the teacher wants to join a breakout room, they just simply come over here and hit join. Okay, once I hit join, now I am participating in the breakout room along with that dummy student. So as you see, breakout room one has the instructor and the dummy student. If I go to the dummy student, they see that the instructor is in there as well, okay? If I go back, I can hit leave as a teacher and now I am back in the main room while my two dummy students are still in their breakout rooms. From there, I can send a message saying the breakout rooms will end in 30 seconds and once the breakout rooms have ended, I can simply come up here and hit end breakout rooms and now it will take each of the students, they'll have a message pop up, they can hit return and from there, now each of the students will enter back into the main room with the instructor. So as you see, they have joined back. If you click on each of their tabs, you see that now they're in there with the instructor. So that is breakout rooms within Google Meet. And that is feature number one that has been updated. Feature number two is the use of Google Jamboard. So up at the top, again, we click our three dots and we go all the way up to the top where it says whiteboard open a jam, okay? From here, I can click that. I can choose open one from Google Drive or choose start a new Google Jamboard. Once I click that, you will see that it will say share, okay? So you want who you want to participate in the Google Jamboard. Um, make sure they can hit view, okay? Or if you want them to do editing on the Google Jamboard, you can choose edit. For this, we're just gonna choose view. I'll hit send. From there, you hit got it, okay? That brings a pop-up window for you as the instructor. All right, I'm gonna minimize that for right now. And if I go in each of the tabs, you'll see in the chat room, there is an invitation to join the Google Jamboard. And from here, I can join the Google Jamboard as a student, okay? And now as the instructor, I can now have an integrated Google Jamboard with my students. So as you see, if I just come over here, I can draw um, a circle, okay, on mine. And if I come over here to each of the students tab, you'll see that that circle is there as well. So that is the Google Jamboard feature, okay? So we're gonna hit exit out of that. All right, exit the chat, come back into the main room. The final is the layout. The final feature is the layout in Google Meet. So again, we come down here to the three dots. If we come up here to layout, change layout, okay? You see now we have auto, Tiled, Spotlight, and Sidebar, okay? Tiled is the newest version. So if you have a lot of students in your Google Meet, 
You can now choose how many tile blocks you can have and therefore see all of your students at one time. So this is a great feature to be able to view all your students at one time in order to see and make sure they are being engaged in your lesson. So that is how you change the layout. You simply come down here, choose tile, come here and choose do the slide bar on how many boxes you would like in order to see. When you choose that, you'll be able to not only see the students, but see you as well up at the top right corner. And those are the three new features that Google Meet has to offer for you as staff to help you be better productive in your Google Meet lessons. I hope that you enjoyed this video and what it has to offer and talking about the updates to Google Meets. Again, the use of breakout rooms, Google Jamboard, and the layout feature are great options to better your performance as an educator and being more productive and creating a more engaging classroom. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure and give it a like below. Also, feel free to subscribe to the channel as it helps out what we're doing. This is Chris, aka The Clever Guru. I hope you have a great day and we'll see you next time.